Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Video Waste games. Fuck. Please, you know what's please. a good I video game? I tried to stop them. Wrong motherfucking ass. Wait. Mountain Blade Warband. Are you a hot-blooded, virile male? Then this is the game for you. Do you suffer from a receding hairline, fetal alcoholism, or untreated syphilis? Then this is also the game for you. Mountain Blade Warband is a medieval life simulator, loosely based on the geography of Europe when Europe was a fun, friendly place where every day was filled with strife, famine, pillage, and rape. Or as I like to call them, a snuggle with a struggle. <laughs> Rape isn't good. You start as the leader of a mercenary war band with only a pocket full of coins and a desire for more coins. Using your superior negotiation skills, you can hire groups of inbred villagers to join and fuel your middle age war machine. From here, the world is your proverbial oyster. Naturally, I started as the only black man in Europe, a man lost and looking for purpose after his parents were killed by the Malaria Clan. I needed to show these crackers how to fight good, how to fight better than their enemies. I would show them the way of a trouser snake. I could not avenge my parents, but I can seduce these fine young ladies. How you doing, Lady Alfron? She asks me to visit every month. Every month the guards glare at me, and her nurse disguises me in the same goddamn stupid-ass nurse outfit to sneak me in. Nobody is fooled by this. Why do we keep up this charade? Every month I visit, you bitch at me that you'll only marry a man of the highest moral fiber. Yes, I know my honor is like negative 60, but those villagers had it coming. They should have just given me the cloth hides. Nobody had to die. But when a peasant acts like a bitch, he gonna die like a bitch. Naturally, I also needed to hire companions who would align with my management philosophy. They needed to be cold-hearted, lacking any conscience, any shred of remorse. So I surrounded myself with murderers, vagabonds, and women. In the beginning, you start as a faceless nobody, with no title, no reputation or standing to speak of. Being of common birth, you're fairly unremarkable but completely free to do whatever you want. You can participate in trade and make no money, perform assignments for nobles representing different factions, and even enlist as a mercenary commander in their ranks and make no money. Or you can raid villages all day every day for fat stacks of gold. One day, you might even fight and imprison other generals, refusing all ransom requests from their kingdom because the more lords you keep prisoner, the less armies they can lead. Then, you occupy their castles and towns while they cry in jail, forced to subsist on a diet of cum soup. It's homemade. The sense of scale in Mountain Blade is huge. When I played it many years back, I never fully appreciated the immense power gap between starting the game to having an army of several hundred men tearing through most of a civilized world. There's few words to describe the satisfaction you feel from winning decisive battles and putting your enemies to the sword. If you become the vassal of a king, the game gets really interesting, since you often need to be intertwined in politics, intrigue, and skullduggery to advance your position among your peers. The sandbox AI plays out its interactions, while your actions alone can shift the balance of power. There's a lot of factions to choose from. Vikings, Snow Slavs, Italians, Mongols, Sand People, and Germano-Italians. At the start, I had no real allegiances, so I went with the Snow Slavs. That day, my life changed. I met a man named Boyar Volition, and he was a man with a plan. He had good ideas for how to bring stability to the realm of Calradia. Remember how you told me to start war with the Sand People? I guess they did have it coming. Remember then how you told me to start war with Swadia? Those were good times. As a result, the Kingdom of Vagars was launched into war at multiple fronts, but Boyar Volition was a tactical genius. He had an ace up his sleeve. He told me in private to provoke conflict with Rodox as well. Intelligent, nihilistic, and with a wicked sense of humor, Boyar Volition was my one true forbidden love. Then I joined Nords and thought I'd never see him again. Even worse, my kingdom went to war with Vagars, but despite everything, 
We never fought each other. I told you those beautiful words one night. Fuck King Yaroglek. And you said, yeah, fuck that guy. Can't even win four on one. So I murdered your entire kingdom. So we could be together. In the end, you defected for me. He started wars with every faction when no one else did. He had hyper-aggressive warmonger AI when no one else did. I'll remember you, Volition. Even though I'm stuck here with Lady Alfron giving me blue balls, she keeps shouting at me using big words like genocide. I keep reminding her those were Swadian villages. It wasn't genocide. It was pesticide. She can never satisfy my cravings. Jarl Volition. Remember when you told me to talk shit about Jarl Knudar? I did it. I dishonored him and bullied him. He even challenged me to a duel and got whipped. Oh, how we laughed. At the time, I said what's between us is purely professional. Purely business. But maybe I did it, Volition. Just to see you smile. You traitorous mother fu- <laughs> Well, after that betrayal, and having my heart broken for the last time, I lost any will to continue, so I tried some mods instead. Most of these mods are historically accurate depictions of Europe during the medieval time period, with expanded options for veteran players returning to the game. The amount of amazing total conversions and gameplay overhauls is staggering, and completely worth trying out if you've already played the base game. I give Mountain Blade Warband 10 Sharingans out of a Byakugan. Go buy it. CD keys are out there for pennies on G2A. And the game goes on sale multiple times yearly on the good old game store and Steam. Not sure what to get your family for Christmas? Why not invest in a classic Seth trademark loot box? You never know what you'll get. Maybe a door handle. A kitchen accessory. Or even a coat hanger. The possibilities are endless. Buy while stocks last. As always, more content to come next year. A warm thanks to the Merchants Guild, generously funding these atrocities since August. You're all wonderful. Have a Merry Christmas. Sadly, we Jews don't celebrate Christmas because we killed Jesus.